drop a question. There's no dumb question. Seriously, you can ask whatever you want, whatever you're struggling with, whatever you need help with. Just drop a question. It can be about fitness, weight loss, literally anything. Just drop it. There's no dumb questions. So open up. It is Monday. So hope you guys all had an awesome Monday. What's up? What's up? How are you? Um, shaker cups are finally in. No one knew. You can go order some. Buy two, get free shipping. Buy three, get one free plus free shipping. So what's up? What's up? I had a meal replacement shake for the first time today. How did you like it? Was it delicious? How'd you like it? Esther, what is up? You missed me. Why did you miss me? I know I haven't been on for like a while. feels like forever. Um, yes, it is Monday. So whatever questions you guys got, whatever you guys need, drop a question. Watching softball, sweating some more. Awesome. Just loved it. How'd you make it? How'd you make, how'd you make true meal? Did you make it with chocolate? With chocolate, obviously with chocolate. Did you make it with water, with coffee? How did you make it? What's up? What's up? Happy Monday, everyone. Watching softball. Are you outside sweating it up? Still going to get my Esther. Okay, so crazy thing here. So I went to – I got an email saying that someone didn't get an order and check the tracking. and didn't even show up that I dropped it off. So that was absolutely frustrating. Uh, what is your go-to glutes workout? So glutes, you, you want to literally trigger those glutes. Squats. Squats all day long. Back squat. Go in heavy. Uh, let's see here. Myra here. Howdy, howdy from California. What's up? What's up? I always love knowing where everybody's from. If you're brand new to this live, you've never been here, drop a comment where you are from. Uh, with cold coffee. Nice. Esther, I'm going to send you a new one. If I stopped keto for a week and ate carbs binge for a week as I was away, did I ruin all my progress? No, you're going to be fine. Just start on that next meal. Don't do anything crazy. Uh, just start on that next meal. Yeah, you want to hit those glutes, do back squats. You will absolutely, I'm from Arizona, whatever, Esther, if only. Uh, from Miami, what's up, what's up? Utah, Salt Lake City, made it with cold brew. That is the best way to make it. Cape, Cape Florida, always a ton from Florida. See, there's a, anyone from Texas, always a ton in Texas. I'm in Arizona personally, so personal trainer here in Arizona, Houston, Texas. Let's go. Um, are back squats like regular squats? Yeah, it's when you have the barbell on your shoulders. That is considered the back squat whenever I say back squat or whatnot. But just holding dumbbells was going to be fine too. Uh, but hold the dumbbells up, up on those shoulders because if you hold them out front, you're going to put more leverage on those toes. So you'll actually target those quads more than you are hitting those glutes. So that's the thing. When you're doing squats, make sure you sit back and reach back with that booty. Put all the pressure on your heels, not on your toes. When the pressure's on your heels, you're going to trigger those glutes a lot more than the quads. So for all those ladies out there who hear the word activation, I, the activation thing is starting to drive me crazy. Like um, bands, yes, you're going to activate your glutes using bands. You're going to activate your glutes using your cat using your glute muscles so my t-shirt arrived today thank you lisa so glad you got it absolutely absolutely guys shaker cups are in now shaker cups are in you can do buy two get free shipping or buy three get free shipping plus buy three get one free plus free shipping um, got the diet, need to up the workouts, still not losing. Got the diet, need to up the workouts. Um, if the nutrition's on point, you're going to get the results you want. It, the workout's not going to make you get better results. It will help speed up the process, but your nutrition has to be on point. So it's still the nutrition. Got to get that nutrition on point. Um, so in your videos and you're walking for how long? Uh, the, the treadmill workout, I was 10 minutes. I did 10 minutes on it. People are commenting on there. Like they're doing 30 minutes. Like you guys are animals, absolutely animals on that. It's a killer workout. It's soft on the knees, lean into that tread. Don't hold on. When you're all holding on, leaning back, you're not getting the workout you should be. It's just like hiking up a mountain. Your thoughts on abdominal vacuum, wait, vacuuming, wait, abdominal vacuuming exercise. I don't know what that is abdominal vacuuming. I'm not sure what that is. What up? What up? Texas. Always, always tons in Texas. Uh, help. I want to gain a lot of weight and fast. You want to gain a lot of weight and fast. Go eat a ton of cake and ice cream, pizza, pastries, all that stuff. 
How do I gain a lot of weight? I just got that one. What up? What up? If you guys are brand new here, personal trainer here in Arizona. So whatever questions you guys got about nutrition, weight loss, fitness, working out, whatever it is, drop a question below. Seriously, welcome being here, guys. There's no dumb question. Ask whatever you got, whatever you need help with. Love doing these Q&As. Do them every single night, six o'clock. I mean, 7 o'clock, 7.30 Arizona time. So check your time zones. I literally just got on. It's 7 30. So make sure you hit that follow button so you don't ever miss a live. Um, your thoughts on abdominal vacuum? Not sure what that is. What up? What up? There. Thank you. Absolutely. Absolutely. And guys, don't yell at me if I don't see your question because sometimes TikTok doesn't show questions. I is a dumb question, but you missed it. Esther, I did not see it. What the heck? Intermittent fasting. Yeah. Intermittent fasting is great, uh, but you just want to make sure you hit your calories in that intermittent fasting. That's where a lot of people go wrong. They do intermittent fasting. They don't take in enough calories. That is where so many people go wrong. And yes, under eating is a real thing. I know there's a lot of TikTok trainers on here that are like under eating is not real like if you're not if you're if you're burning less than what you're taking in you're gonna get results it's not true i've helped so many people go from 1200 calories up to 1800 to 24 2400 calories and get better results and drop that weight off quicker to be ready for that summertime so if you're gonna do intermittent fasting it's great but just make sure you're taking in enough of the calories because you have a certain amount of calories that you want to be hitting I asked a dumb question. No, you didn't. Are any of the beer, are any other beers keto? I don't really like Mikla Ultra. Just know drinking's gonna, the alcohol is gonna get converted into sugars. Just know that. Um, just know that. Um, what's up? What's up, Nicole? No joke. I've been waiting for your order to come in for these shaker cups. You were going to get an email from me of why in the world have you not ordered shaker cups yet? Cause you've been hounding me for shakers. So got shaker cups in. you guys can go buy two, get free shipping or buy three, get one free plus free shipping. As long as you're in the United States. Sorry, Esther. Um, I'm, if my, Experience 16.8, if it gives you enough time to get my calories in. Yeah, that's the thing. Sometimes with people, it's really tough for them to get in their calories within that intermittent fasting time. I did today, Nicole. I saw it. What's up? What's up, Timothy? Motivational Monday is up, guys. If you guys haven't watched it yet or listened yet on the YouTube, definitely go and check it out, the Motivational Monday on YouTube, or listen to it on your favorite podcast network. Just look up Fullerton Nutrition. Motivational Monday is where somebody, I get an interview of them getting amazing results, talk about their nutrition, what they did, how they overcame it. So the one, this week's Motivational Monday, he reversed type 2 diabetes. So craziness. Do you have meal plans available? Yes. You could definitely get the custom keto plan. It's on the site. So just fullertonnutrition.com. Same thing with all the free workout programs, the free calorie calculator, all that good stuff. Um, let's see here. Ideal macro ratio for weight loss. What I like to do, what I have my clients like have them doing for the macros is I do 60% of my calories are coming from fat, 35% is coming from protein, and then 5% of the calories are coming from the carbs. I stay around 20 grams of carbs all day. And honestly, today I've had literally like four grams of carbs. It's only from sauce. So I had true meal. Before I went to the gym and did that great, crazy cardio workout. Do you have meal plans? Yep, got that one. I'm here because he can't see my questions. Super weird, Esther. Um, there's always some weird trigger words here on TikTok. Um, but so did the did the meal placement first, got home, made a fat ribeye steak, went grocery shopping today. And then with the ribeye steak, I did mushrooms. And then a little bit later, I did ground beef and a little bit of barbecue sauce and a little bit of mushrooms on top of that too. So like literally the only carbs I've taken in today for from that sauce. Holidays are coming up. I think it's funny when people say that they can't lose weight because of the holidays, right? It's like if you eat bad 20 days out of the 360, you're all going to look amazing. You'll get that amazing booty, look great for summertime, look amazing naked because that's why we're all doing this anyways. It's not for that dumb scale to move. So, yes, if you eat clean, if you eat great for 20 – if you eat great – besides the 20 days out of the year, you're going to look amazing. So don't overthink the holidays and your birthday and stuff like that. Xmas, Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving is only two days and New Year's and then Christmas Eve. I get it. Thank you. Absolutely. Should I count calories or just carbs? Count calories. You've got to be hitting the right amount of calories. 
Because counting carbs isn't just the name of the game. You got to hit your carbs. You got to hit your fats. You got to hit your proteins. You got to hit all your macros. Makes sense. They blocked it because it used a bad word. Esther, did you really? That's hilarious. Anyways, I wanted to know if I can make my boob size smaller. Yeah, absolutely. Boobs are just made of fat. So lose the fat, you'll lose the boobs. It's kind of funny. Women are usually all upset when they start losing the boobs because of working out and everything like that. Hopefully I don't get uh, kicked off for saying boobs. Um, let's see here. Thank you. Should I count calories or just carbs? Definitely count those calories up. I knew that's what happened. Like, where'd everybody go? I'm like, oh, they all jumped on. You guys, I think I'm finally not shadow banned on TikTok anymore. I finally have a post going a little viral craziness. I think the problem is, is all my viral posts have all been workout videos. So I think I have a lot more people following just for fitness stuff and not for actual like weight loss. That's probably what's going on. Should I count calories or just carbs? Definitely count up those calories because that's the thing. Everybody's literally on the free workout program. <laughs> I figured that's what it was. Uh, let's see here. That's bad word. That's the bad word. Crazy. Yeah, my views just dropped to 12, so maybe that is what it is. TikTok's like reviewing what I said. They're like, we're kicking him. He's out of here. Let's see. I want mine smaller. They are too big for my gain from gaining weight. Yeah, they'll go, Esther. They definitely will. 100%. 100, 100, 100%. Percent. If you guys are brand new to the live, welcome. Personal trainer here. Just love doing these live Q&As so I can tell you guys exactly what I do, what I have all my clients doing to get that fat off the body as simple as possible. So if you guys questions about nutrition, weight loss, working out, whatever it is, don't be afraid. Drop some questions. Don't just sit in the back of the class and not be asking those questions. Uh, you should do other videos too, like trend or two. People would love to see your goofy side. I thought about it. I have. I just can't dance. And the things that are trending are the most ridiculous, like this one. Or this one. Like, I don't get it. Why? Um, I'm on a program with Dr. Kells, and I went from 212 to 187. That's awesome. Congrats. Uh, do you use fitness pal to track your calorie nutrition wise? Yeah, definitely track up with my uh, fitness pal. I like my fitness pal. I like that app the best for tracking calories and macros and everything like that. From Ohio, what's up? I hope Nebraska kicks the Buckeyes butt in the 24th. Big Ten football finally back. Anyone else excited about college football actually finally all coming back? The real world, the world's coming back to normal. Can't wait. Go Big Red. From Ohio, what's up? What's up? Uh, but yeah, definitely tracking with my fitness pal is definitely the name of the game. Loosen up some. What do you mean, Nicole? I loosen up here on live. It's better being live than just some TikTok. <laughs> uh, I want to lose 30 by December. What should I do? I have two weddings. All right. So first off, don't lose weight just for the weddings. Because what's going to happen after the weddings? Are you just going to say forget weight loss and then just keep gaining weight after that? So what you need to do is start tracking your calories. First off, you need to find out how many calories you need to take in for what your goals are. Do you do any sports betting? Do I do any sports betting? Uh, no. I will never bet on Nebraska either. I just Then I would just hate them even more. Uh <laughs> Uh, it's hilarious. No, it's a new lifestyle. So, um, with so thing is, you got to find out how many calories you need to take in. So once you find out how many calories you need to take in, you need to download my fitness pal and start tracking your macros. Start tracking your macros. Hit your calorie goal. You're gonna get great results. 30 pounds by December, 100% could be done. You can drop 30 pounds in two months, honestly. And that's another thing. I'm so sick of seeing trainers trainers on here that are like, oh, you only want to lose a pound a week. Like, that's, 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 you don't want to lose any more than that. Like, you don't lose 20 pounds of water weight. That just doesn't happen. So you are losing the fat. It's okay to lose 20 pounds a month. I'm losing weight from my, I'm losing weight from my hibernation. I missed something. I'm trying. I'm lying down and just spilled water all over myself, and I, and it's cold. <laughs> Tyler, lean back and cross your arms, please. That is the weirdest thing ever. Are right, are you looking to see if I'm overweight? Because I'll do it all day long. Like, what? Yeah, is that what it is? 
Cross your arms and lean back. Are we looking for the gut? Like, is that what we're looking for? I know how it works. Let's see here. No, it's a new lifestyle. No, it's a long-term goal, but I would like to be down 30 pounds. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. No, you could definitely do it. How can I lose my belly? It's a problem. Nutrition, nutrition, nutrition. Definitely nutrition. How about loose skin? Like there's any way to tone it or make it smaller. So it's going to take time for sure with the loose skin. So if you lost a lot of weight, it could definitely take a little bit more time. Uh, I miss my TikTok peeps. Nicole says it's going to say stronger fetish here. Wait, I was going to say strange fetish here, there, right? <laughs> uh, but with the loose skin, what you want to do is build up more muscle and it's going to tighten up that loose skin. It's like around those arms the back and stuff like that. Um, even the legs. But if it's like the belly, that's going to be a little bit different. It's going to take a little bit more time. But if you lost over 100 pounds, I've had client, I had a client that had lost over well over that. And she ended up doing skin removal surgery and everything because she had so much excess skin. She was a lot older. So the older you are, the longer it's going to take for that skin to be elasticity and to bounce back. Um, I lost 146 pounds in three months by fasting with cold. What? I don't know about that one. That's that's I don't believe that one honestly. Um, eighty percent in the kitchen, one hundred percent nutrition, one hundred percent working out. I like that one better. Well, let me do it in two then. Well, let me do it in two then. Um, if the only thing important is calorie deficit, doesn't matter if it's keto, if low carb, the thing is, yes, you can get great results doing hitting, just hitting your calories, but you're not going to get the results you want. You're not going to look good naked. If you hit your calories in cake, soda, candy, pastries, and pasta, I promise you, you're not going to look good naked doing that. So it comes down to your macros. You want to take in enough protein so you don't lose that muscle mass. It's just, it comes down to the macros. You hit your calories with your macro goals. You're going to get a lot better results. You're going to look a lot better and naked. I'm trying to work out my triceps. So the loose skin, there you go. Hit those triceps. Good. So if I play with my loose skin, like it talk. Would it tighten up? I don't know. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't tested that theory yet, Esther. That's hilarious. Cross them um, like women do. Dude, I have no idea. Just calorie deficit. You still want to hit your macros. Macros are super important. I don't care what anybody says. I have people who are like, I have people who are under eating. And yes, not eating enough calories, you're not going to get the results you want either. I have so many people jacking their calories up 800 plus than what they were doing, weren't getting results. Now they're getting amazing results. And that fat just coming off the body. Is fasting really good for you? I've read different things like long term fast and stuff, like repairing cells and everything. But like, for if you're fasting for weight loss, don't do it. You gotta feed that body. You gotta nourish that body, the macros, your carbs, fats, and proteins. Your body needs protein. That's why when people do keto, they lose their hair because they're not taking in enough protein. So that's why I have my clients doing 35% of their calories from protein. So you need to take in enough protein. You need to hit your macros. Like stop doing the it's so crazy. People would rather starve themselves than actually eat good food like it's shocking to me um cross them guys just fast it's fasting really good got that one go watch the snake juice on youtube life changing you guys do not go and starve yourselves oh my gosh i will get my bbl next march a bottle next march uh oh no i love food that's my problem Reggie, I bet if you actually calculated your calories of what you had yesterday, you would be under what you should be at for weight loss. I did two hours on a treadmill, two minute run, two minute run, two minute walk. And the is that good for that's an awesome workout. I don't know if it's gonna make you lose weight because you got to get that nutrition on point. If your nutrition's not on point, you're not gonna get the results you want. But you did that for an hour, two hours? Jeez. That's craziness. Started myself and went to the gym. It's I starred myself and went to the gym. It's possible. Yeah, anything's possible, but sure, you don't look good naked, though. That's the thing. Like, starving yourself, you're going to have no muscle mass. Your muscle mass is going to be depleted if you really did starve yourself like multiple days in a row. Um, lost hair from crappy thyroid. That will definitely do it, too. So, if I played. <laughs> 
as you're hilarious. <laughs> oh, love it, love it, love it. What else you guys got? What other questions you guys have? You guys are brand new to this live. Most of you probably are. Live Q&A. Whatever you guys got about weight loss, nutrition, fitness, whatever questions you guys got, drop them down. I'll let you guys know exactly what I do, what I have all my clients doing to get that fat off the body. Kevin, what is up? What is up, man? Um, don't be afraid guys. There's no dumb question. Ask whatever you got, whatever you need help with. Let's see here. What's going on on Facebook and YouTube. So also if you, if I can't see your guys' questions, definitely watching football. Nice. Who's playing? Is it, is it the Raiders playing? I should go turn on the game right now. Forgot it is Monday. Did anybody just start working out and start eating right today since it's a national I'm going to lose weight day? What's the best workout for weight loss? There's no best workout for weight loss. you got to get that nutrition on point. But when people ask, is it better to lift weights or do cardio? Definitely lift weights over cardio all day. Raiders just fumbled. Oh, it's Raiders and Saints. All right, let's watch it. Um, how can I start to use weights at the gym? I'm scared and don't want to be... Don't want to be, you're not going to turn in, you're not going to turn in a Popeye just by lifting heavy weights, I promise. I have my entire free workout program, it's on the site. Um, I used to train with a professional bodybuilder, I loved it, but I uh, just didn't ever lower. Two hours on the treadmill too long? Oh, I'm not saying that, I'm just saying that's just a really long time. I hate working out, honestly. You guys have probably never heard a trainer say that. <laughs> That's awesome. That's the thing. The inclines are killer. The kill, like that just kills me when people go to the gym and they just walk on the treadmill for like an hour. I'm like, yo, jack that incline all the way up, keep the same speed, and I promise you you'll burn more calories within 10 minutes than just a half an hour of walking. Uh, Kevin, Nicole says, but I'm not sure if Tyler's got a tape out there for them to enjoy. I'm so confused what you two are talking about over there. Um, what's the best meal to eat while training and I'm vegetarian? Uh, so if you're vegetarian, that's going to be tough to eat fish. It's a thing with like vegetarians and vegans. You guys have the hardest time getting in proteins without getting all of the craziness with it. Had a bad week, bro, but I'm back. Wish me luck. Just remember that. Why? Yes, I eat fish. That's good. So fish and a veggie. Fish and veggies. You got to get those proteins in. And if you eat eggs, definitely get those eggs in with it too. Kevin, Nicole's on Instagram. That's why. She got, she got banned from TikTok somehow. So excited. Go Bucks. No, go Big Red. Oh, was that a comment on there like that? I missed that comment. I'm glad I didn't see it. There's a lot of comments I don't see. And people like screenshot things people are saying, which is crazy-ish. Um, I watched your video. So inspired. Good job, sir. Kevin, they were talking about you right there. The incline is insane. I cramped up so bad after. So a lot of people talk about like their lower back hurting with the incline on that treadmill. So the thing is, you've got to tighten up that core. You got to work out that core. To, the most of the time, lower back pain is from weak core. So there's a couple of comments on there like that. Um, people are saying they have a weak core or anything. I'm trying to gain more leg muscles, but I'm still trying to lose five pounds. Should I be in a 
calorie surplus. No, you can still grow your legs. Just don't be too low. So that's why I have the calorie calculator on the site, guys. I have a free calorie calculator. You need to take in the right amount of calories. Most of the calorie calorie calculators give you way too low of calories. And that's why people don't get the results that they want. They start breaking down their lean muscle mass instead of actually breaking down their fat. So, um, Stop stressing out about that five pounds, throw the scale out the window and get a good calorie intake and start surrounding your carbs and your protein around those muscles. I mean, around the workouts, make sure you take in enough protein too. That protein's going to go and repair those muscles. Um, what I would do if you want to grow those legs, do legs twice a week, Tuesdays and Saturdays. I split mine to do hammies on Tuesdays, hammies and glutes on Tuesdays, and then Saturdays when I do quads because I want to make those legs grow too. So I definitely get it. I understand it. So um, I always watch your videos. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. What helps with being consistent and eating healthy besides meal prep? Um, you got to have your why. You got to find your why because you can go out to eat, go to a work. You can go to a work event you could be at work and there's pizza there's donuts there's crap all over the place you got to find your why of why you want to be healthy why you want to look amazing and naked and everything like that so um you got to find your why um no it's the guy who said the fold your arms like a girl told him to watch it <laughs> what i didn't see the comments so i don't know who said it yeah oh, it's hilarious esther i didn't get it either um, let's see here. What's the best core workouts or the one you like most? Um, the best ab workout, so many different plank variations, like three minutes of it will absolutely destroy the core. Um, I really like star V up star V ups really hits everything. You'll hit your obliques. You'll hit the upper and lower core doing star V ups. Uh, in my free workout program that's on the site, you'll see those ones for sure. Kevin new here. What's the website for the calorie calculator Two fifteen workout four times a week, but haven't trouble losing the weight. So with 215, you're working out too. So your calories are going to be a lot more higher, a lot higher than you would think they would be. So I'm already going to guess if you're working out four days a week, 215, I bet you're going to be around at least 1800 calories. I don't know how tall you are. It's going to bring up the calories probably even more, but uh, the link's in the bio. The link is in my bio or just look up Fullerton nutrition hit menu and that will find the calorie calculator for you. Can you still drink alcohol while training? Yeah. You can just know it'll slow down the results a little bit. I get it. Do the seltzers, do the light beers. You're six foot. Now it depends on the age, but I bet you're going to be, you're a dude too. You're going to be like 2,400 calories. Honestly, just depends on your age, but you'll probably be around 2,400. I bet I'm five, six, one ninety mine's 2,400. So yours might even be higher. Might be like 2,600 and you're 35. Yeah. So just go to fullertonnutrition.com. That's where you can find the calorie calculator. I'm obsessed with lower back issues. Wait, I'm obese with lower back issues. What are the best exercises for beginners but also have a good results? Get your nutrition on point. When you get your nutrition on point, start losing the weight that way. Then start stressing about what's the best exercise. Just getting active and moving is just all you need to do. Do you think Eleni supplements are good? I'm – I've never even heard of those ones. Best protein brand name, Fullerton Nutrition True Meal. For sure, the best meal replacement protein shake you can get anywhere. Literally, the best. It's an isolate whey, high-quality protein, no concentrate. Zero sugar, less than a gram, less than two grams of carbs, 13 grams of MCT oil, 50 grams of high-quality protein, and the 400 calories. So it's actually a meal replacement. So everybody has a hard time getting in a meal, and especially for all the busy moms and dads out there who don't have time to get in a meal. Two scoops, 16 ounces of water. That is absolutely the best meal replacement protein shake you can get anywhere. I made sure of it because it's a personal trainer here in Arizona who formulated it to fix a problem because all the meal replacements out there are loaded in carbs and sugars, don't even have enough calories to be a meal, and have the low-quality ingredients. So definitely. New here, do you make personalized nutrition plans? Yes, you can definitely get the custom keto plans. They are on the site as well, just fullertonnutrition.com. <coughs> no idea uh nicole says she misses you esther says kevin come here i don't think kevin has an instagram honestly um it's been hard but worth it thank you how are you doing is the best meal it's the best meal of the day kevin says 
What is your opinion on cleansers? I think they're an absolute joke. That's why they're a hundred billion dollar industry. Cleanses are completely pointless. They're a waste of money. Um, absolutely a waste of money. You don't need to do them. Your body naturally cleanses itself if you stop eating all the crap. So the body definitely naturally will cleanse itself. Um, Kevin, I don't think, yeah, 90% sure Kevin does not have an Instagram. Do you ever get your, no, I'm sending her a new one. I only had it once. I'm waiting on, you've only had it once. Why are you waiting for it once? And Esther, that's craziness. Esther said, make an Instagram. Yes, your kidneys cleanse one hundred percent. Esther, just for you, we started an account. That's hilarious. I'll tell you Esther's name on uh, good old Instagram. What a pain in the butt! I would not just start an Instagram. That's hilarious. What else, you guys? Got what other questions you got? I, mean, I don't like saying that, brah. <laughs> I got amazing results and never bought those things. It's the thing. You definitely don't need cleanses. And that's what, like, doing this for over, like, 10 years now almost, like, people just want people just want to take a pill. They don't want to eat. They want to do some crazy, starve themselves. Or spend like thousands of dollars on some magical Kool-Aid that's going to make him get results. It's not what you got to do, bro. I don't really even say bro either. Do you use supplement a protein shake for an actual meal? Yes, as long as it's a meal replacement. So most pro protein shakes aren't a meal replacement. That's why you got to look at the calories. But you won't find a meal replacement, high quality ingredients, good proteins, 13 grams of MCT oil, multivitamin and digestive enzymes, like you will with true meal. Literally, I, I'm sure of it. I made sure. Um, but yeah, definitely. This is my first meal of the day and I drink it before I go to the gym. I've seen a lot better results drinking a protein shake before going to the gym instead of after. Ever heard of gym? Yeah, I've heard of gym. Yeah, I know gym. Um, thoughts is uh, protein's great. Yeah, is a uh, isolate way. As long as it's an isolate way. Look, if you look at a protein label and how do you know if it's a good quality of protein, go to other ingredients. The first ingredient better be a whey protein isolate or a hydrolyzed whey. If you see concentrated whey on there, do not get it. That's low quality protein. As lactose still connected to the molecule, it could be thirty percent actual protein. So if it says twenty grams, it could actually be six uh, because the molecule is so big and thick. No point intended, but it sells lactose carbs connected to that molecule. So it's a bigger molecule instead of a hydrolyzed way or an isolate way that is filtered down. So it's a more pure molecule. So isolate way is 90% protein. And then a hydrolyzed is actually 92% and up protein. So um, definitely. But yeah, Jim's great. Love his stuff. Love his content too. He's a PhD too. Um, and he knows what he's talking about. It's funny. I saw one of these TikTok gurus on here that some how is a new a trainer, but you look at the body and you're like, what? He was literally bashing Jim because he said um he's talking about doing the uh mouthwash and how it can actually hinder the results. It was kind of funny. Um the guy just bashed it. He's like, yeah, this guy knows nothing. I'm like, oh my gosh, dude, he's a PhD. I actually knows what he's talking about. And he's talking about a study that was actually done. So it's always hilarious. Uh, can you buy smaller sizes to try that huge container? Yeah, right. Um, you can definitely get a six pack. There's six packs available. There's single serving six packs. You just add your favorite liquid to it and you can order right now and you'll get a six pack. So they come in individual ones. So like literally like a minute made bottle almost, but you'll get a six pack of them. This could be the one that you actually get. There it is. Uh, but yeah, you can try it out. Um, if you like chocolate, it literally tastes like a chocolate frosty. It's delicious. Um, let's see here. He used to talk when he did a Fullerton last night. Wait, he used to talk when he did Fullerton late night. <laughs> I missed that. Yeah, Nicole, it got crazy. But I got shadow banned, so no one was ever on my live. I think I'm not shadow banned anymore. I finally got a video today to go over 100,000. Um, thoughts on goalie gummies. What are goalie gummies? Are they like a multivitamin? If it's a gummy, just don't even chew it. 
Best ba- breakfast opinion can eat can't eat eggs. Allergic. Um, you can eat anything for breakfast. You don't have to make it breakfast. You can have a steak. You can do pork chops. You can do um. You can literally do marinara sauce in ground beef. You can make it however you want. You just got to eat. Got to eat to live, not live to eat. Um, let's see here. I want Kroger and Saw. Five people with Slim Fast keto stuff in their carts. Yeah. Slim Fast has melodextrin in it. I made a TikTok on it. I haven't posted it yet, though. Um, I was making a tick. I was making a whole bunch of TikToks today at the grocery store, and I literally left and didn't have my keys. I put my keys down while doing it. Can you buy a smaller size? Yes, you definitely can. Is your protein lactose free? Are you allergic to milk, or are you just lactose intolerant? Because the isolate way people are lactose intolerant, I've had people who are lactose intolerant drink it, and they're a okay. But if you're allergic to milk, that's different. I wouldn't even mess with it because it is a whey protein. Um, why didn't you stop them and educate them? <laughs> yeah, I love this. Kevin, that was my mom that said that if you didn't know. Um, I didn't want to scare them off. I was dressed in all Raiders. Fa- oh, yeah, I would have definitely been running from YouTube. Like, don't come talk to me, Raiders fan. I've heard a nutritionist say to snack in between meals, but others advice against it. Thoughts? I eat three meals a day, four including true meal. Um, the thing is, is with snacking, you're gonna have a harder time hitting your calories. You have a bigger, you have a bigger chance of overeating or not taking in enough calories too. So, I just, I don't have my clients do it. When I make the custom keto plans, I do three meals. Best way to burn calories on a stair stationary bike: just getting into fitness intervals. Just sitting on that stationary bike, you're gonna burn a ton of calories, anyways. <laughs> Can't wait for the comment back on this one. Uh, Nicole says, hi. I started all that stuff at work. <laughs> you did not just call her bra. Opinions on Orange Theory Fitness. <laughs> All right. Disclaimer, I actually coached there this year. So long story short, when I had when I sold my studio, I sold my gym, because I used to have a gym and everything, sold that, and then Fuller's Nutrition started. And then I started sampling out at all the Orange Theories, and like their coaches started leaving. And I'm like, this is weird. Why are you guys all leaving? This is like so easy. And I should have known. When good coaches leave a place, it makes sense. But uh, yeah, coached there for over a year. It's way too much cardio, honestly. Way too much cardio. I personally didn't like working out there. Um, so I'm opening up a new studio here in Arizona. And it's just honestly like it's a great workout. It's just people don't eat enough already. And then you're going to go do that, burn four to 500 calories. You're just not going to get the results you want. Um, so that's that's really a thing. It's just so much cardio and just – I just noticed that so many people were having a lot of different types of injuries from overworking the same muscle group and stuff. <laughs> I love Arizona. I used to live in Phoenix. Nice, 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 nice. Yeah, my, my gym is in uh, Gilbert. <laughs> Esther, she went over to Instagram now. Oh, it's hilarious. Love it, love it, love it. Those are my thoughts. So like, it's a great workout. No question about it. It's just, it's just too much cardio for people and constantly pounding on the treads. Like I'd tell people like, yo, go ride the bike, go ride the bike. Don't need to get on the tread. But honestly, like with the treadmills there at orange, I would tell everyone, I'm like, look, if you're sick of running, jack that incline all the way up, leave the incline as high as it goes, stay on that incline walking the entire time. Your heart rate's going to actually get higher. You're going to burn more calories and you're going to be lighter on those legs. You're not getting those shin splints and everything like that. Thank you so much for answering my question. Sending good vibes from New Jersey. See you on the FYP. Appreciate it. I cannot talk right now. Appreciate it. Awesome, awesome from New Jersey. If you guys are brand new here, where are you guys from? Drop a comment where you are from. I love seeing where people are from. Like I said, I'm in Arizona. Cross country opinions on the Peloton bike for at home. Um, 
disclaimer, I have stock in it. So it's freaking amazing. Um, no, it pelts on school. It's awesome. The bike is just so great. So low impact Arizona. Have you ever played co had ever played slash coached any sports? Yes. Coach little league football. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. But yeah. Peloton is great. Tennessee, Jersey, Georgia, Texas, South Carolina, Georgia. So there's a lot in Georgia too. Another Jersey, Bullhead City, Arizona. We are neighbors. Could throw rocks at you. Opinions on a Peloton bike. It's a great workout. Amazing. Just make sure you eat though. You'll get a killer calorie burn. Love it. And I love that they're starting to add the weights in with it too. So it's great. If you want to spend three grand, if that's how much it is, I think that's how much it is. It's awesome. Massachusetts, Connecticut. Now we got all those East Coasters on here. Throw rocks at me, Tyler. Yeah, Esther, you're way too far up in Canada. Texas, always tons of Texas. Love it. Um, touchdown, Ohio. Love it, love it, love it. I always love seeing where people are from. It's crazy. Is anyone from out of the country? Anyone like – there's usually a few in Europe on here. Um, holy cow, the Raiders 31 17 Saints. Wow, did not see that one coming. That is for sure. How crazy! That's craziness. Um, Airborne, Ohio. Love it, love it, love it. So seriously, welcome guys. Love that you guys are here. Brand new with the QA. and a Actually, not brand new, but if you guys are brand new here, it's a and a You can ask whatever you got. What questions do you have? If I don't see your question, definitely ask in, on YouTube or Facebook. Just look up Fullerton Nutrition on either platforms, and you'll be able to ask any question you guys have, and I can see them there. TikTok sometimes doesn't show everybody's questions, and then people start yelling at me, and I'm like, look, I literally cannot see your question. Um, throw rocks at me. I'm in Paris. Nic Esther, are you really in Paris? That's awesome if you really are. What's up? What's up, Ashley? We got Australia in the house. I know that one. I'm in Paris, France. <laughs> Favorite lifts for big traps. Um, the shrugs. What's crazy is like reverse flies hit them pretty well too. As long as you squeeze up on the top, that'll really hit your traps with the reverse flies. Um, shrugs. I literally haven't done shrugs in forever though. Are protein drinks safe for teens? My son needs to have a high protein diet due to medical issues. Um, I would rather have my kid drink this over chocolate milk any day of the week. So what I would do with my kid, I'd probably do like half of a scoop. Um, that's going to be about 15 grams of protein just with half a scoop or maybe a scoop. It just depends. But um, what I would do for my kid, I would absolutely rather them drink it than chocolate milk any day of the week. How to calculate calorie deficits, see so many different ways. Um, I use a calorie calculator. I don't math. I don't use the formula. I have a calorie calculator do it all for me. So that's why I have the free calorie calculator on the site. Eat lean? I don't. Fat ribeye steaks, chicken thighs. Uh, what is shrugs? Shrugs are like if you have the dumbbells or a barbell, you're going to hold – you'll hold the barbell here and basically just shrug it up the shoulders. Just bring the shoulders back. Um, or you got the dumbbells, same thing, coming here. Those are going to be the shrugs. So just doing this. But do not go here. Don't bring your shrugs to your chin. You want to literally just roll the shoulders back. You're going to hit this. You're going to hit the traps a little bit better. Um, let's see here. What is Shrugs, are we Talking drugs? What kind of drugs that are in Canada, Esther? Why is pizza that is a wait? 
is round, put in square boxes, and then cut into triangles. No idea. No clue. I don't like pizza, so glad I don't have to think about that question. I thought shrugs were drugs. That's hilarious. No, shrugs. It's a lift, Esther. Nicole Shrooms. Why is pizza? Let's see here. What else you guys got? What are the questions you guys have? You guys, shaker cups are in. Everyone's been complaining about not getting shaker cups. You can order a shaker cup now. Literally, I've had like 10 orders. That's it. Um, oops, that's hilarious. Why is pizza in a round square box? Um, let's see here. What else you guys got? What are the questions you guys have? Don't sit in the back and not ask questions. There's no dumb question. Ask whatever you got. Whatever you guys need help with. <laughs> Esther. It's on the ballot in Arizona. I know that one being legalized here in good old Arizona. I've actually never smoked in my entire life, not even once. It's not because my mommy's watching either. Crazy. Esther in Australia, they're only one place that's allowed. Colorado it is. As long as you if you have a card in Arizona, it is too. Let's see what's going on with Utah, not Utah, YouTube and Facebook. Let's see, here. I've never done drugs either. You've never drank alcohol? Oh yeah, wait. You've never done? You've never drank alcohol, Esther? Crazy, crazy, crazy. I don't even drink anymore. It's just not even worth it. The hangover just sucks. I am shocked. Anybody a, a Saints fan watching right now? I know there's some people down from Georgia. Any S Saints fans? Because you guys are losing right now. Do you like resistant bands? Coach Brody. Yeah, is this like Brody Brody? Do you like resistance bands? Yeah, resistance bands are great. There's nothing wrong with them. You got no weights for sure. But like if you're trying to grow your booty because your favorite influencer has a nice butt and they said to go buy these bands and that's how you get a nice butt, it's not how it happens. You're going to get a lot better results lifting weights. But like for like other exercises, yeah, there's nothing wrong with them. Doing legs with bands too, it's going to be fine. But it's just killing me that these influencers that are like, oh, go buy my band program. You're going to have the best booty ever. And then they post about their leg day lifting weights and going heavy. So that's my two cents on it. Do you do drugs? Just drink. I don't do drugs. Just drink true meal. <laughs> uh, it's hilarious. Yes, it's Brody Brody. What up, dude? How's school? How's football? How are you? How's life? Are you sitting next to your dad right now? I live right down the street from you now. Great. Yeah, football's good. Football's good. Your dad said you were getting taller. I don't believe him, though. You're probably taller than me, but that's fine. Everybody's taller than me. Lifting weights became addictive, right? Watching the game. Timothy, what's up? Keto's my drug of choice. <laughs> I love it. Five, six. Oh, you're as tall as me now, Brody. Where's Zayden? Zayden's still at Higgly Wiggly. So one of the kids that I coached for three years, Little League football's on here. I love it. Welcome, welcome, welcome. What is up, everybody? If you guys are brand new here, ask whatever question you guys got about weight loss, fitness, nutrition, whatever it is, drop a question. 
No, he's at San. Oh, really? What? He's starting varsity six one now. That's insane. Uh, Katie Hearn's brand of stuff. What are you asking me a question, Jessica? Never heard of it though. See, I have an awesome night. Nicole, are you trying to do anything to get unbanned from TikTok? Just make a new profile like Kevin did. <laughs> Nicole, Kevin, Kevin looked you up on Insta. You made that quick. <laughs> you're five six. I thought you were at least six foot. No, I'm five six. I'm super short. I don't want to talk about it, but yeah, I'm not six foot. My foot doctor, when I broke my foot, when my doctor did the x rays, he's like, Yeah, you'll probably be like six foot. No, didn't happen. Brody, I'm done growing. It was an old one for my single days. <laughs> Kevin, that's hilarious. Gotta delete some stuff. <laughs> oh, I don't think you guys will lose TikTok. I don't think so either. You're two inches taller than me. I'm still taller than you. Best replacement for lunges if you have weak knees, prone to injury. Squats. Squats all day. Do the isolated moves like the machine for like the leg extensions and then leg curls. Good thing I didn't do that in the camera because I was not – because I was doing this, and then I went like this. I was not. Uh, I was supposed to be 6'8". Yeah, you're tall enough, Tim. You don't need any more height. Don't worry, I'm five foot. But yeah, leg extensions, leg curls. You'll still definitely isolate the glutes and the hammies. You'll really trigger those hammies and the leg curls, leg extensions. You'll hit those quads. Um, please advise for weight loss, treadmill, and weightlifting time pro 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 wait, proportions. What do you mean? Like the one that I did today, I did that for 10 minutes. So the incline, I jacked it all the way up and then pick a good speed. It's funny. I didn't think anyone like, – I thought everybody was going to notice that I had two speed. I had it on three. Um, but, yeah. I'm 5'2 when I wear shoes. I got these I got these Adidas that make me 5'8". It's great. Get an extra two inches. Um, but, yeah, just jack that incline as up as high as you want and then just put the speed whatever couple comfortable, and I did it for 10 minutes. Any tips for running? Yeah, just keep go, just keep moving. Why do joints hurt? Should I be taking any vitamins? Make sure you're taking enough water in, drinking enough water. And obviously, if you're older, the joints are going to be there just because of that. But like fish oil has been help, been shown to help with that. Glucosamine, all that good stuff. Do you like stair stepper rower machine? I'd rather do stairs than the rower any day of the week. I do stairs on Wednesdays though. How much time for treadmill and how much time for weightlifting? Um, I do the tread. I, like I said, I do intervals at the end of the workout. So I'll do it for like 10, 15 minutes max. Um, sometimes I'll do some like calisthenic stuff um, and then some interval, different type of variations of that. Uh, but I do normally – like I have all my workout programs on my site. They're literally free. I love to row. Yeah, I would rather do the Stairmaster than row any day of the week. Tyler loves running. No, I don't. He's my running coach. <laughs> what can I do to lose weight? So what you want to do is find out how many calories you want to take in. Once you find that, use a calorie calculator. There's one on my website. Download my fitness pal. Once you download my fitness pal, put those calories into my fitness pal. What you want to do is set up your macros. I like to do 60% of my calories from fat, 35% of my calories from protein, 5% of my calories from carbs. And once you do that, I start to set up the macros. Then I start to eat, hit those calories every single day, and you'll start losing that weight. You got a calorie goal. Don't think 1,200 calories is your magical number. What's up? What's up? How are you? 
a little bit of Arizona in the house, a little orange theory in the house. Are you still at orange, by the way? Super curious. By the way, I didn't quit. A lot of people said I did, but I didn't. Um, it was all over text. It was great. But what's up? How are you? Um, I am. Nice, nice, nice. Glad to see the gyms are finally opening back up. Oh, I was dying without the gym. It's been like two weeks now. So are you doing – were you doing the ones in the parking lot or were you uh, in studio now? Samantha, what's up, what's up? What about the sled? Why does everyone hate the sled? Sleds? Good, I need more protein powder. Finally. <laughs> I would I would say so. Were you sipping on that like a wine? That's hilarious. Um, I moved. I'm not in Phoenix anymore. I'm down in Gilbert. Um, shoot me a message. Shoot me a message and yeah. No outside sidewalk for me. Like a fine wine. <laughs> love it. Love it. Shoot me a message though. Right, so you can get that bottle for you. Oh, no. No outside. No outside sidewalks for me. Why? You, it's not even hot out anymore. That's hilarious. Well, what about the sleds? Sleds are good too. You get a killer sled workout. Absolutely. That's awesome. Love it. Seriously, I miss so many of the members. Miss lots of peeps. It's working out for your whole body every day bad. Is working out your whole body every day bad? You just don't want to keep hitting the same muscle group every single day. Like the mo like so I split mine up every day. So like you'll see on my free workout programs, like Monday's chest, Tuesday's legs, Wednesday's buys and tries, Thursday's back, Friday's shoulders, and then I do quads on Saturdays. So I like to give my muscles a full week before I hit them again. Um, but like, if you're doing like, like, what do you mean by full body workout? Like, are you hitting buys, chest, legs every single day? I wouldn't do that. If you're going to do that, I would work out three days a week. Honestly, that's what I would do. No joke. 100%. Um, what do you recommend for a meal prep slash shakes for active duty military who don't always have time? Seriously, thank you for what you do. Have a time to chance like, a chance to hit every meal. Um, so definitely, this is by far the best meal replacement protein shake you can get literally anywhere. I made sure of it when I formulated it because all the meal replacement shakes don't have enough calories to be a meal. True meal has 400 calories. There's 50 grams of protein. It's an isolate weight, not a concentrated weight. So the high quality stuff, you got zero sugar, less than a gram, less than two grams of carbs. There's 13 grams of MCT oil in here. Fullerton Nutrition True Meal. It is delicious. It tastes like a chocolate frosty in coffee though. It tastes like a mocha frappuccino. Delicious in coffee. And then you got a multivitamin and digestive enzyme. So you can definitely try out the big bottle or you can try it out and get the sample pack of the six pack. And uh, those are single servings on there. So yeah, you can definitely check it out. Just fullertonnutrition.com is where you can get True Meal. It is delicious though. But seriously, thanks for what you do. That's why I made True Meal though. When I'm in my personal training studio, the problem with everyone is they don't have enough time to get in a good, quick, easy meal. Don't have enough time to get in the good calories and all that good stuff. And all the meal placements out there are just full of carbs and sugars. Don't even have enough calories to be a meal. I'm out. See you, everyone. Timothy, see you later, man. Have an awesome night. You as a well, man. Enjoy that run tomorrow because I know you're going to. Do you still have enough shakers in stock? I'm leaving here Saturday. Kevin, you're coming back down quickly. But, yeah, definitely got enough shakers. Shakers are in stock, guys. Everyone said they wanted shakers. They're available. I'm not going to lie about this. Literally, no one has ordered shakers. I literally have only got 10 out. 10. That's it. Two people did buy three, get one free, and then one person got um, two. So, yeah, buy three, get one free, plus free shipping. Buy two, get free shipping. Are there pink ones? No, there are no pink ones. This is red. You could, If you're colorblind, it might look pink or green. Uh, but, yeah, Kevin, let me know, man. What about Ultimate Nutrition? That just won't be a meal replacement. So don't get the gold standard Awesome Nutrition. If you're just doing a protein shake, get the hydrolyzed whey protein from Awesome Nutrition. I need numbers. 
What about Oscar Nutrition? Is it good enough to finish my container instead of throwing it? Yeah, yeah, don't throw it out. Absolutely not, Jessica. Drink that up. I just thought I meant like with the brand. Like their hydrolyzed whey is going to be fine for a protein shake. It's just not a meal replacement. What's up? What's up, Carrie? How are you? Doing amazing. Could you use true meal for breakfast and skip lunch? As long as you still hit your calories, I would say yes. There's nothing wrong with that at all. I used it before I used to I used that before I used true meal and true meal blew it out of the water. So yeah, nothing's wrong with Oxford Nutrition. Their stuff's good as long as the hydrolyze or the isolates away. So whenever you look at a protein label, if you guys drink protein, you want to know if your stuff's good. Go down to other ingredients. You want to see hydrolyzed or isolate whey protein. No concentrate. That's the low quality stuff, which 90% of the products out there are all concentrated whey. Thanks. We go look into it. Just need to check out to see if it can be if it can be used. Should I be taking protein every day regardless if I work out every day? So I have people who don't work out at all and drink true meal because it's just fats and proteins and vitamins. That's all it is. It's just like taking in a meal. Um, you're going to get all your proteins in. You still need protein just to live. So it's your macronutrients. So yeah, you don't have to work out to drink it. I promise you, you're not going to turn into Arnold just by drinking true meal. It's just not going to happen. Trust me, I've been trying to do it for the last 10 years. It, it, it hasn't happened. What is going? Was that halftime? Is it only halftime, Kevin? Twenty four thirty one. It's getting close. Don't sleep on Breeze. Any uh, Saints fans out there? Or Raiders fans? Anyone? Anyone? Any Ohio State fans? Go Big Red. You guys are gonna lose your first game of the season. One minute left. Oh. Oh. Um. If he misses this field goal. Kevin, I bet. I bet you a bottle of protein. If he misses this field goal, I bet the Saints win. He has to miss it, though. That's the only bet. So does the apple cider vinegar actually help with weight loss? It's not going to help you with weight loss. What it does, it's been shown to help with insulin sensitivity. I drink it for the good gut health because it has a mother in it. (laughs) Oh, I thought he missed it. Dang it. All right, well, now I guess there's no bet. (laughs) Oh my gosh, I literally thought he missed. I'm like, oh my god, I can't believe I'm gonna call this. Oh, it's hilarious. Um, made it. Yeah, I know. I was like, dang it. I was like, I really want to see the Saints come back and win. But that was a bet. He had to make it. That was the contingency. Um, but what it does, it helps with the good gut health, that good bacteria, the mother in it. Um, if you guys saw that last uh TikTok of me chugging the apple cider vinegar, then yes. Um I drink it just for the good gut health. Like it's crazy how much better you feel just after three days of drinking it every single day. So what I try to do is do at least a shot every day uh, before every single meal and everything like that. Can apple cider vinegar burn um, esophagus though? I drink mine with water. So I'll chug water right after. Um, But yeah, there's just so many benefits to it. And then I did the lemon and lime shot on top of it. So if you guys watch the Fullerton – Fullerton Motivational Monday or the uh, daily Fullerton Motivational Weekly. You guys will see exactly what I'm eating and all that stuff. I talk all about it. Uh, Gummies come asked about the outside of vinegar gummies. So the thing is the gummies aren't going to have the mother. They won't have the mother bacteria in it. And that's what you want for the good gut health in that apple cider vinegar. All right. So what are they? Wait, they didn't give them the points. Oh, yeah, they did. Now they're down 10. Breeze could still do it. What do we got? We got a minute five. This is going to be a good game. Run down, score a touchdown, onside kick. It could happen. Just like the Cowboys miraculously pulled it off. Um, can't have a side of vinegar burn a central throw. Got that one. Da, 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 da. What else you guys got? If you guys are brand new, seriously, welcome, welcome, welcome. Tyler here in Arizona, personal trainer. Just making this weight loss thing, nutrition thing, fitness thing as easy as possible for everybody. So there's no blind leading the blind. I'm letting you guys know exactly what I do, what I have all my clients doing to get that fat off the body as simple as possible so it's a live q a whatever questions you guys got jennifer what is up what is up how are you if you're still watching sometimes people jump in and jump out killing it with real estate i see glad you're doing well during all this craziness 
from Australia. What is up? What is up? I love when everybody's from out of the country. It's super cool to see that. I've heard it's better to do cardio at the end of your workouts. Is that true? 100%. Awesome, Jennifer. Miss you, miss you. Um, yeah, definitely do cardio after. I hate, I never had my clients do cardio before. I like doing the cardio afterwards and everything like that. Do you, so do you keep keto? Keep, do you keep keto? What do you mean? Do I keep doing it? 100%. Been on for four years. Better to cardio. But yeah, definitely. If you do the cardio or the intervals after your workout instead of before your workout, that's what I always had my clients do and everything like that. So you can put all your effort and energy into those weights and then you'll go in and finish up with that cardio, get some intervals in. We're going to have two days now. Nice, 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 Cindy. That's awesome. What's going on with this game? Anything? They're on the 50. I'm telling you, don't sleep on Breeze. Breeze is br- better than uh, Peyton Manning. Not Peyton Manning, um, Tom Brady, 100%. Oh, he should have pitched it back to that dude. Whew, that was a close one. Um, so on a keto diet, how many grams of carbs can you have per day? I stay under 20 grams all day. Right now I'm literally sitting at four. Advice for home workers. Um, advice for home works out if you are afraid to go to the gym right now. Oh, gotcha. Home workouts. I have my entire free at-home workout program on my site. It's free. I don't even want your email. The only time I want your email is if you want my free 21 keto recipes with a grocery list. That's free on the website. Um, But yeah, my workout programs are free. What just happened? They ran out of time already? Dang it. Kevin, they won. Okay, a warm. Okay, I warm up like ten minutes on the elliptical, then weights, and finish with one hour of stairmaster. Holy moly, that's a lot of cardio. Uh, that's awesome. Glad you're doing that warm up though. Something's in front of the screen. It's, the, it's my other phone. <laughs> Can you be on keto while being pescatarian? Yeah, it's gonna be tough though. Game's over. See you later. That's what happens when you're live. But yeah, you can. Like vegans, it's going to be real hard to do keto because you're not going to be able to stay under those carbs. I do all carbs, not net. What type of training do you do with your clients? Um, it's a lot of intervals. It's a lot of intervals. It's almost set up like stations. So, um, when I open up a new studio, it's going to be, it'll be, uh, weights and then different types of hit, different types of hit training with it. Lifting weights, lifting heavy, not reps of 20 or anything ridiculous like that. Um, Got to build up that lean muscle mass because the more lean muscle mass you have, the higher your metabolism is, meaning you'll burn more calories. All carbs are n- – all carbs not net. Can you talk about – Talk about it more. Yeah, so I've had so many people break their stalls by switching from net carbs to all carbs. Net carbs, you could do 120 grams of net carbs and not even – and still say you're doing 20 nets. I just don't like it. It's kicked me out of ketosis, a bag of green beans, so that's why I count all carbs and not net. I've had so many people get a lot better results doing all instead of net. Uh, what do you eat then? Meat and veggies. It's literally what I eat. Like today, like I said, I'm four grams carbs all day right now. So did a meal replacement protein shake. So this was my first meal of the day. Zero sugar, less than a gram, less than two grams of carbs. There's 13 grams of MCT oil, 400 calories, 50 grams of protein. Drink that before I go to the gym. Found a lot better to drink protein before the gym than after. It's a meal replacement protein shake. Then after, I went grocery shopping, got ribeye steak and shrooms. And then a little bit later on, I had uh, ground beef and um, – um, t- uh, barbecue sauce. So that's where my cars came from was from the barbecue sauce. Uh, but right now, like I said, I'm sitting under four grams right now. Um, let's see here. Do you work with clients with PCOS? I work out so much. P- I, I work out so much. PCOS makes it hard to lose weight. Yeah. 100%. Um, people are getting amazing results. PCOS, hyperthyroid. Um, it just comes out of the nutrition side of it. It's just hitting your calories with the right macros. So when people just talk about being just being calorie deficit, I'm sure you guys have all seen it. Just be a calorie deficit. There's no food that's going to make you lose weight. Yeah, but you're not going to get the results you want if you're a calorie deficit eating cake, soda, and candy. I promise you, you're not. So it comes down to the macros for sure. It's just so frustrating seeing those people say that the nutritionists and trainers and like half of them are overweight anyways. It's crazy. 
crazy to me. Um, when people are paying them thousands of dollars and everything like that. But yeah, I do have the custom keto plans. They're on the site and everything like that. But just keep it simple. Just hit your calories with meat and veggies. You're going to get amazing results. Um, let's see here. So I don't understand measurements on keto. What tools do I need? All you need is a food scale and my fitness pal food scale, my fitness pal use the calorie calculator though on my site. Cause it's going to give you a lot more calories than my fitness pal is. Cause my fitness pal gets people way too low of calories. So no green beans. No, I've not had great green beans today. I haven't had green beans in a really long time. Actually peppers and onions or no, Jessica, that'd be fine. Just measure it out. Just measure it out and you'll be fine. Thoughts on pre-workouts? Yeah, love them. Love pre's, love BCAAs. It's funny. Everyone's like, all the TikTok, I, I just, there's a lot of TikTok traders on here. They're like, I know everything. Pre-workouts are pointless. BCAAs are waste of money. Um, branch chain amino acids, your muscles are made up of proteins. What repairs them is amino acids. So drinking them is not pointless. Pre-workouts, great. I love NutraBio Pre. And then NutraBio is the brand. NutraBio um, Reload. That's the BCAA. But definitely love them. Love the um, beta alanine in there. Love the itch itchy feeling. I love the feeling like you can run through a wall. So yeah, I love, love, love Pre. Um, let's see here. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Keto is the only thing that has helped me with PCOS find keto easy to do. Yep. Just meat and veggies thoughts on pre-workouts. Love them. Are you going to hire at your muscle spa? Are you going to be going to hire at your muscle spa? <laughs> But not not yet. Not yet, Kevin. I'm still waiting for gym equipment to be available. I cannot find any. I would have opened my studio up over like four months ago. I've tried a couple of flavors and gives me horrible stomach and cramps. Um, are you going to hire? I got that one. Should I be adjusting my macros every 10 pounds? No, 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 no. I wouldn't change your calories till after 30 pounds lost because 10 pounds, you ladies can fluctuate 10 pounds during your monthly cycle. So I definitely would not do that yet. Wait about 30 to 40, honestly. What about CLA supplement? I know it's a product product in a body, producing the body, but would be a supplement, would it be supplementing? So CLA is going to be omega-6. I would rather do fish oil than the uh, – because fish oil is an omega-3. And CLA is going to be omega-6 fatty acid. Um, but if you want to take it, take it. But I would rather do fish oil because fish oil is just a lot more benefits from the fish oil from the C than the CLA. Um, but if you guys need some motivation, you want to see what people have got amazing results. So I do have a show every week. It started. It's four weeks in now. There's four episodes. It's called Fullerton Motivational Monday. What I do is I interview somebody who's got amazing results uh, with keto or whatnot, whatever they did to lose weight. I've got people. I've got a couple of a couple who did it together is down over 150 pounds. Their before and afters are ridiculous. Uh, this week's episode, this this guy reversed type 2 diabetes in less than a year. Um, I have another lady down over 70 pounds, before and afters, off cholesterol medicine, off of the drugs and everything. Um, and then the first episode, over 400 pounds, down to 250. So if you guys need a little motivation on Monday, a little motivation on get that booty moving, start eating right, get that fat off the body, go and watch it. Or you can listen to it on your favorite podcast network. Just look up Fullerton Nutrition on YouTube or Fullerton Nutrition on your favorite podcast network and you can listen to it on your way to the – the way to work if you guys aren't going to work or while you're walking your dog pretending to watch the kids or something like that um let's see here what vitamins do you recommend to most people fish oil what else honestly i don't like i really don't talk about multivitamins because there's already a multivitamin in the meal replacement protein shake um but when people talk about supplements, it's going to be like a pre-work. The only thing that I honestly take is a pre-workout, a BCAA, true meal, um, apple cider vinegar, and lemon and lime shot. That's literally all that I take. I literally haven't taken fish oil in a really long time, but it is definitely beneficial to the body. I'll check out our motivational Monday. Do it, Kevin. Your motivational Monday was great. Way to go. Ketoverse well-balanced nutrition profile. I've always been told a well-balanced foods are best. Um, yeah, back in the 50s, they also said working out was bad for your heart. Um, so the thing is, yes, you can get amazing results eating 200 grams of carbs. No question about it, 100%. Um, 
The food pyramid came out because of one doctor after or President Eisenhower had, had a heart attack. One doctor blamed it on cholesterol, blamed it on it being it fat. So they took all the fat out of the out of everybody's diet. Took all the fat out of, out of the food. Fat's bad for you. Fat's going to cause cholesterol. Fat's going to make you die, heart attack, everything like that. So we've changed the way we've eaten. It's all been instilled into our head. Uh, we definitely eat the food pyramid, but um, the number one cause of death is heart disease. So if we change the way we've eaten, why in the world is heart disease the number one cause of death? It's not the fat. So the thing is, if only thing we could eat was meat, veggies, fruits, and a little bit of nuts and a little bit of dairies, nobody would be overweight. It's all the processed garbage and all this food that we're eating, all the, all the box stuff. So that's why people are definitely gaining weight. It's what we're eating. It's not how much we're eating. Honestly, if everybody actually calculated what they're eating, they're not eating over what they should be doing. Most people are under eating. It's the number one thing why I have clients coming in. When they first come in, they're like, this is how many calories I'm eating. I'm not. Ta- I'm doing all this cardio. What is going on? I'm like, you need to bring those calories way up, and we need to change that workout a little bit, and then they start getting results. I have an elliptical at home. How long should I exercise on it? Heights, resistance levels. Honestly, I've never used an elliptical in my life. I'm not lying about this. I've never had clients use an elliptical. Um, get a good resistance on it. Do So go check out my uh, workout program. I have my free workout program. It's literally free. Check out the intervals at the end. It's The interval workouts are at the end of the workouts. I have the at-home workout program that's free. Um, you can do that at home with literally barely anything. If you have resistance bands, that's perfect. Um, and how fast. So, um, go check out the intervals, go listen to what I'm talking about with intervals and do that. You'll get a lot better workout in 15, 20 minutes doing intervals instead of just sitting on the elliptical for an hour or whatnot. Um, but yeah, but yeah, you can absolutely lose weight, get amazing results doing 20, 200 grams of carbs, 100%. Key is about controlling insulin. That's why when people just cut the carbs out, they get a lot better results than other people who aren't. Um, I get attest to that all day long. Um, the thing is, is that with the carbs, you got to eat six times a day to control the insulin. You got to eat six times a day, eat every two and a half to three hours. It's just what you got to do. It's the name of the game. It's how you control that insulin when you're taking the carbs and stuff. Uh, but I'm not saying you can't, everyone, like I said, you can get amazing results eating 200 grams of carbs every single day. It's only 800 calories. So you can definitely do it, but you got to eat throughout the day. No one's got time for that. People don't even have time to eat three, three meals a day. That's why I created true meal with gym, not being safe enough. What type of equipment should I get for home workouts? What do you mean? Not being safe enough. What do you mean, Lauren, with gyms, not being safe enough? Whoop. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? Super curious on that one. COVID. Aren't you wearing a mask? Our gyms, they're making us wear a mask. Um, so with my at-home workout program, just some bands, some bands, you'll be golded. So the band, so like I got it back. So when you go to the website and you go to the free workout program, click on the at-home workout program. That entire workout was with a box of bands that I got at Walmart. It's like 26 bucks, I think is what I paid at Walmart for those bands. But you could do that entire workout program with those bands. You could do both the free workout programs with the bands, honestly. Um, there's just so many variations. So there's an anchor that you could put in your door. So you can do everything. So there's a whole bunch of different variations you can do and everything like that. Um, so yeah. You can definitely just, just some bands literally at Walmart, 27 bucks. It's this pack. It's a blue box. You'll see it, get it. You'll get a great workout with it. Um, let's see what else, what else, what else? Keep those questions coming in ladies and gents. Like I said, there's no dumb question. Ask whatever you got, whatever you need help with. Trainer here in Arizona. Love doing these Q&As. Do them every single night, 7, 7.30 p.m. Arizona time. So don't miss it. Make sure to smash that follow button so you don't miss out on it. Um, let's see here. What else? What else? What else you all got?
Um, What else you guys got? What are the questions you guys have? Don't be sitting in the back afraid to ask a question. Like I said, there's no dumb question. Honestly, I've answered every single one of these questions a million times anyway. So whatever you guys got, drop them. Drop them, drop them, drop them. If you do keto to lose weight, how do you read? reintroduce carbs without a lot of weight gain so whenever like whenever you cut out the carbs and you start taking them back in you'll probably gain a little water it's just water weight that's all it is because carbs retain the water so like when people talk about the keto flu or whatnot um i always tell people cream of tartar pink himalayan salt you'll get those electrolytes in so you don't need to go buy some electrolyte blend or anything like that um but just know what made you gain weight in the first place. Just just be mindful of that. If we were only able to eat meat, veggies, fruits, seeds, and a little bit of dairy, nobody would be overweight. Nobody would. Hey, I'm fat. What's the best way to lose weight? I want to. I want lipo, but I can't get it. it. It's all nutrition. All nutrition. Look, if you hit your calories with meat and veggies, you're going to get the best results you've ever gotten in your entire life. You see chicken and rice meals due to easy of making for your busy days. Best vegetable instead. Whatever veggies you like, honestly, and just measure them out so you still hit those macros and everything. So like I'll do broccoli, cauliflower. So like with, that's what I had with my ribeye steak today. I did a, I did spinach with it. It's so frustrating. Like two handfuls of spinach. Two. You plop them in. It's like a mountain of spinach. You open the grill up and it's like palm size. I don't get it. My dad thinks my cholesterol is going to be high being on keto. Shells, don't be drinking like butter and oils and stuff like that. Just hit your calories with the meat and veggies. Thanks for answering me. Yeah, absolutely. You got it. Hopefully I did. Yep, I did. Absolutely. Love how you open it up though. Thank <laughs> What's up, Nicole? What's up? What's up? What's up? Does anyone else get freaked out now with their new uh, iOS 14 with the green light whenever you're on anything or the orange one when they're recording? Not a food question, but I did the 10 minutes, love it, incline, and sped up to two and a half, and that'll be normally, wait, Allison, I love it, how'd it go? No, green beans are great, peas are fine too, one fourth cup of peas is 12 grams of carbs, don't ask me how I know. That's the thing. When you start tracking for a while, you don't even need to, you already know what you need to take in and everything like that. Allison, what were we saying? It cut off your it cut it off. Glad you did it though. It's killer. I'm saying you I, people were saying they're doing like 30 minutes of that. I'm like, oh my gosh, I would be dead. Absolute great, great workout. Normally a picky got that one. How do you know? No, because I have Android and it's so much better. Because Apple users got a new update, and now Apple lets us know when people, when websites or apps are recording everything. It's kind of frustrating being a business owner, though. I was arguing with someone because they said no longer time and faster. I will, I was like, normally a picky. I was arguing with somebody because they said no longer time and faster. No, don't speed it up. Then you're going to make it higher impact. Yeah, make it longer. You totally inspired me. Uh, appreciate it. That's why I do this, guys. That's why I have everything on Facebook, YouTube, podcast. I put everything out there telling you guys exactly what I do, what I have all my clients doing to look amazing naked. 
I say it like that because that's how it truly is. It ain't about that scale. So appreciate it. That's why I do this. So when people message me, DM me on Instagram saying, thank you for what you're doing. I'm down 20 pounds. I hit my new goal and stuff like that. That's why I started the Motivational Monday. Uh, appreciate it, Laura. Um that's why I started the Motivational Monday so other people can see that anyone can do this. Motivational Monday is basically a call with somebody or it's a call with somebody who's got amazing results just by changing their nutrition. They talk about what they did, how they overcame it and everything like that. So definitely if you guys want to get some motivation in your life, go watch the Motivational Monday or you can listen to it as well. Just look up Fuller to Nutrition on your favorite podcast network or on um, the good old YouTuber. Um, you totally inspired me. Seriously, appreciate it. You got to do it though. Don't just be inspired by one day. You got to do it every single day. Figure out your why, why you want to get healthy and everything like that. What's the best protein to build muscle? What do you mean the best protein? How do we figure out our macros we should be meeting? So I like to do 60% fat, 35% protein and 5% carbs. That's what I like to do. And then with my fitness pal, that's how you can track everything. I like my fitness pal the best. Nicole, no. I don't even want to talk about it. Not yet. It's only been like two months. What do you think of Jim's gummy bears after a workout to help with the insulin levels? Um, I would honestly do it before if you're really going to do that. I just... I don't, I don't like it, but it's, it's fine. But if you're trying to lose weight, you're gonna have a real tough time, but it's fine. That's why I would do it before so you could run on that glucose during the workout. What's up? What's up? How are you? Miss T Don, Miss T Don. I'm doing that treadmill six days, <laughs> six days a week. <laughs> I'll post one tomorrow. I'll post my car. I'll post my intervals for tomorrow. Jenny, appreciate it. Appreciate it. Protein drink. Got it. So by far best meal replacement protein shake you can get anywhere. Fullerton nutrition, true meal, zero sugar, less than a gram, less than two grams of carbs. There's 13 grams of MCT oil, zero sugar, 50 grams of protein. It's an isolate way. So the high quality stuff. And then you got 400 calories. So Fullerton nutrition, true meal. You can't beat it. Hands down. You can't. I made sure of it. I formulate it when I have my personal training studio. It's all the meal place and protein shakes out there full of garbage. Um, let's see here. Couldn't I meant you couldn't creep as much. Gotcha, Nicole. Do you use BCAAs? I've seen lots of people use it, and I don't really get what it is. So BCAAs are branched-chain amino acids. They go in and repair those muscles. That's all they are because muscles are made up of proteins. I love motivational Mondays. Yes. So yeah, you want to know how many calories you need to take in too. Because you have a calorie goal that you need to take in for maintenance, weight loss, weight gain, whatever it is. You still have a calorie goal. That's why I have the calorie calculator on the site. Just fullertonnutrition.com. Hit menu and you'll see the calorie calculator. Or just scroll down you'll see the calorie calculator along with the free workouts and everything like that. You couldn't creep as much. Before you guys go, make sure you guys hit the follow button so you don't lose me. I do a live Q&A every night to try and make this weight loss thing as simple as possible for everybody. Yeah, shoot me a shoot me a DM. Send me some more information about that podcast. What's the podcast name? Fullerton Nutrition. You're totally cool, dude. <laughs> Appreciate it. Nicole, what are you saying? Thank you. I'm 40 pounds overweight and I don't know where to start. My problem is I can't stop drinking the beer. So change up the beer of what you're drinking. Try and cut it down to less days a week um, and just get the nutrition on point. 
It's all with that nutrition. I break it all down on YouTube, literally break it down. Just got an eye in a body scanner. I know that BMI is, I know what BMI is, but I don't know what the other information is. So don't go off your BMI. Honestly, I hope if you paid for this, I'm really sorry, but the BMI, like, the in-body scanners are a complete joke. They're not accurate at all. You can go in super dehydrated, then hydrated, and your numbers will be all over the place. Uh, but don't go off BMI because my BMI is over 30%. That's morbidly obese. I'm 5'6", 190, but as you can tell, not morbidly obese. But that's why you don't go off the BMI at all. Um, the best way to calculate your actual body fat percentage is going to be the underwater weighing or doing the pinch test with the calibrator and everything. Um, but yeah, so I just meat and veggies, no rice or potatoes. Right. Absolutely. Is the Stairmaster better than the incline for 10 minutes? Um, it just depends. They're right. They're right up there. They're definitely right up there though. They're pretty neck and neck. Pretty neck and neck for sure. No, I didn't pay for it when I went to the gym. They do a scan for free. They did it before I before COVID. Is it the handheld one? Because if it's the handheld one, that one's like the worst one. Um, but yeah, I just I honestly wouldn't go off those numbers. I just I, I never had my clients do um they always like, are you gonna get one of these? I'm like, no. Go off your before and after pictures. That's what I tell everybody. Throw the scale out the window. Go off those before and after pictures because we're not doing this to move a scale. We're doing this to look good naked. Let's be real. We're all wanting to lose weight once summertime comes around because that's when we're showing the most skin to everybody. So we're all really doing this to look good naked. So don't worry about those scales. Throw the scale out the window. Only scale you should be worrying about is that food scale. Sarah Master hurts my knees. Incline feels better for me. I was going to say the incline of the treadmill is going to be pretty low impact. Cheat meal is a thing for you. I'm human. Um, so like I don't do it once a week. A lot of people do it once a week. But honestly, like you eat so clean. You eat so good for months and then you eat bad. And you're like, why in the world did I just do this to myself? So like it changes the way you eat and the way you look at food. Like if you look at food, like you got to eat to live, not live to eat game changing when you start to do it like that. So, um, appreciate you sharing it. That's all I ask guys. If like anything, just hit that share button. Cause you don't know who in your friends group could see one of these videos and you smash that share button. They start watching it and it starts clicking for them and they start to get results. They're going to be thanking you. So that's all I ever ask guys. Just smash that share button. But how do you go out to eat? That's easy. Give me a restaurant. I'll tell you exactly what I would order. Do your clients worry about loose skin? I don't want to feel bad while working so hard to lose weight. So are you, let me, I'll ask this. Would you rather have loose skin or look freaking, okay. Would you rather have loose skin or still be overweight and have chances of all the health risks and everything like that? Um, So the thing is with the loose skin, if you build up the muscle mass around the arms, the legs, the back and stuff, it'll tighten up that skin so you won't have to worry about it. But you got to get that fat off the body. So don't worry about it. I get it. But I had a client, honestly, that did skin removal surgery. She lost well over, shoot, I think she lost 200 pounds, I think. But yeah, if you're younger, it'll, it'll bounce back pretty quickly. What's up? What's up, Amelia? I was going to say, you want to jump on here, I'll uh, bring you in. Texas Roadhouse, oh my God, that's so easy. Green beans and a ribeye steak, a ribeye steak and broccoli. That was the easiest one you could have given me, honestly. Um, I eat too little of food. Yep, got to bring those calories up. Did you use the calorie calculator? Is that how? That's hilarious, Amelia. I was going to say, you want to come on, I'll bring you on. Oh, heavens, no, I look like a hot mess. <laughs> ah, McDonald's. All right, so I honestly would never eat anything there, but if I were to tell – if somebody – if one of my clients texts me, like, I'm at McDonald's, what should I get? A chicken salad and order more chicken. Ask for, like, just plain chicken breasts. Or um, you probably could do a salad wrap. I mean a salad, a wrap, like a burger wrap there. Um, but, like, 
like in and out burger, animal styled, pro I mean, protein style, definitely. But like, I just wouldn't eat anything from McDonald's, honestly. Hope 26 is young enough to bounce back. Definitely, definitely, you're fine. Uh, the My client who lost over 200 pounds and had to do skin removal surgery, she was in her 50s. So you're good to go. Definitely good to go. That was funny. I skip meals. That's why I made True Meal. True Meal, meal place with protein shake. No sugar, 400 calories. I stay full for about three to four hours on it. it tastes like a chocolate frosty. It's not gritty, not clumpy, not chalky. It's literally tastes like a chocolate frosty. If you like coffee, it tastes like a mocha frappuccino. I skip meals. Thoughts on intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting is great. Intermittent fasting is awesome. Just make sure you're taking in the right amount of calories though within that 18, I mean within that eight hour window. What do you mix with it? Almond milk. I do water or coffee. I'm telling you, mocha frappuccino it is so good in coffee. When people try true meal and coffee, it is so good. So you can order the big bottle or you guys can get a six pack and try it out. So it's six individual servings. So it's a sample pack of six of them if you guys wanted to try them out or whatnot. What do you mix with it? But yeah, intermittent fasting is great. If you have to do fast food, do it in an, do an in and out burger. Not the best place to eat, but better than most. Definitely. Love, love, love. Co it's so good in coffee. Game changer. Duncan True Meal, best way to drink it. Check it out. So with the uh, big bottle, it breaks out to $3.66 a meal. So if you go to the site right now, you'll see you can pre-order vanilla cream. Um, and you can only pre-order the big bottle. But with click on chocolate, that's where you can click on the six pack or you can do the big bottle. Uh, but like I said, it breaks out to $3.66 a meal. It's you're spending $10 on a salad that has no protein in it. That's zero carbs, zero calorie energy drink. Monster Zeros or the Sciences or the Bangs or the Reigns. So yeah, the, the big one, you get 60 scoops, 30 meals in there. So it's a steal. Um, and it's literally massive. It's bigger than my head. And I don't have a little head, I promise you. No point intended. Um, let's see here. How do I lose weight? Hit your calories. Track your macros. Make it even simpler. Just hit your calories with meat and veggies. That's literally all you got to do. I spent more money on true meal, coffee, broccoli, and ribeyes and got great results. Nutrition. Absolutely, Kevin. <laughs> oh, love it, love it, love it. Appreciate you guys all being on here too. Appreciate the questions, guys. I love doing these Q&As as long as there are a ton of questions. I love doing this because I know if I could just help one person hit their goals by just making this weight loss thing, breaking it down as simple as possible, it is the best feeling ever. I'm telling you, the gratification of someone messaging you saying they're down 40 pounds just by posting videos and YouTube videos and podcasts, there's not a better feeling. What's the best breakfast meal to eat at home? It's meat and a veggie, ribeye steaks, and um, wow, eggs, pork chops and eggs, ground sausage and eggs, bacon and eggs. Uh, we appreciate you. No, seriously, I appreciate you guys a ton. It's I was I was I was TikTok banned for a little bit. I was like shadow banned. Nothing was going out. Finally, got a post. Finally, go viral a little bit. It's been a while. Um, you know what? I will jump on. I want to share my awesomeness. You don't want to wait. I was going to have you be the next one, actually, Amelia. You don't want to wait? You're going to be the next motivational Monday anyways. Opinions on drinking Premier Protein Shakes. Um, so I'll give you the hard numbers on these. One, they're not a meal replacement. Two, low-quality concentrated whey protein. Um, and then with the Premier ones, if they're already the ready-made, you're going to have all the preservatives and stuff in them. It's just going to have low-quality ingredients and everything. I posted a couple of TikToks. I just made a new TikTok today. I haven't posted it yet. Um, but, yeah, look, if you're buying this stuff at Walmart – or the grocery store, it's going to have low quality stuff. You get what you pay for. I'm telling you, 
I know how it works. You get what you pay for. If it's cheap, it's cheap ingredients. You don't want to put that into the body. Okay, I'll weigh excited and honored. Amelia, absolutely, you're down like 130 pounds, of course. Uh, how do you not get sick of the same foods? You got to eat to live, not live to eat. You got to look at food as nutrients. How's it going to nourish your body? I don't get sick of ribeye steaks, chicken thighs, and ground sausage, ground beef. There's so many different things you can make with it. The only thing that I'm not taking in is rice and pasta and bread. That's it. Literally just three different things. Is it okay to fast and only eat when you're truly hungry? No. And not hit, no, you're not going to get the results you want, Morgan. I bet you you won't. One, you'll be hungry all day long. You shouldn't be starving all day long. It's a telltale sign that you're not eating enough as if you're hungry all day long. Amelia, 107. Close enough. Who's counting after 100 anyways? Um, I love pasta. Uh, is it okay to fat? So, yeah, you're just not going to get the results you want. Like I said, guys, if you're hungry all day long, you're under eating. You're not taking in the right amount of calories. You'll start to break down that lean muscle mass. You can start to lose that hair. If you're not taking enough protein, that hair will fall out. Your body needs that protein. And then you start to destroy those hormones. So if you're on birth control, you're already destroying them anyways. Then you're not eating enough. It's going to be all out of whack. And then it just destroys the metabolism too. So that's why I talk so much about hitting your calorie goal with no matter what your calories are. What about potatoes? Yeah, I forgot potatoes. I forgot about those ones. So yeah, that's literally just not what I'm eating. It's meat and veggies. I'm eating good too. Shrimp, crab, lobster, ribeye steaks, all the deliciousness. So yeah, sweet potatoes, same thing. What's funny is sweet potatoes has more carbs than... Um, white potatoes. It's craziness. A lot of people don't know that. But if you tracked and measured, you would. Has anyone watched the Motivational Monday or listened to it yet today? How someone reversed type 2 diabetes? Anyone watched it? <laughs> yeah, sweet potatoes are definitely a complex carb. So yeah, if you're gonna do the complex carb, do it around your workout. Um, so yeah, the complex carb like sweet potato, brown rice, and stuff like that. This is my first live with you. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Thank you. You guys run this show. I do this for you guys to make this weight loss thing, all this fitness stuff as easy as possible because it really is easy. You just need a game plan and stick to the game plan and not have the blind lead the blind. No, but I should since I'm currently getting tested for diabetes. Go watch the Motivational Monday. Literally reverse type 2 diabetes doing it. Amazing, right? No, I need to. I'm pre-diabetic. Definitely, guys, go watch it or listen to it. Like I said, just subscribe on your favorite podcast network. Just look up Fullerton Nutrition or just look up Fullerton Nutrition on YouTube. You'll be able to watch it or you can listen to it on your favorite podcast. And then I have, ever, I have so much stuff on YouTube and Facebook, on uh, YouTube and podcasts, like tons of content. Trying to bring as much value as possible to you guys. Appreciate you doing this. Definitely going to be watching more. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. I'm finally not shadow banned on TikTok anymore. The past five weeks I have been. My lives have been like two people. It's been craziness. I'm new here. Can you explain carb cycling and how beneficial is it? I don't like carb cycling, honestly. But carb cycling, what's going to be is like you're going to go like four, five, six days without carbs and then two, three days on. Um, I just personally don't like it because it's hard to get back off of them after you ingest, ingest it, after you put in that glucose back into the body. So the brain craves that glucose, but that's all it is. You're going three, four days without the carbs and then two to three with and stuff like that, just cycling back and forth. You'll get better results, literally just cutting them and hitting your calories. The decor always told, the doctor always told me I was borderline diabetic. Now that's in my now that's not my future, right? Kept like craziness, man. Thank you, Nicole. It's just me in real life. Sorry, coach. I'm here for you too. You're fine. <laughs> so I wouldn't need to buy a multivitamin if, yeah, there's a multivitamin literally in True Meal, literally right there. 
all multivitamin here. Um, but like, there's different things you could still do. So like, you got, like you got vitamin A, B1, B2, B3, uh, B6, B9, B12, C, D, and E. And then, yeah, eventually I'm going to do a greens drink. Get all those micronutrients in, but have a good tasting one. Amelia, that's awesome. Your A1C is down to five. Yeah, the motivational Monday this week's crazy. So he was, I, I'm gonna give a little sneak peek of it. He was in he went to the hospital. This is how we all started all this. He went to the hospital, was literally in a sugar coma. Um, doctor was like, yo, you need uh, you need to change something. Crazy. It's a good one. What I love, they've all been freaking amazing. Go watch all of them. You'll need a week. But all I ever ask from you guys, just smash that share button. Just hit the share button because you never know who's you, who you can impact, who's following you, who's your friend. Um, and they see this on their Facebook or YouTube and they start watching it. It's all I ever ask, guys. If you guys ever see my stuff, just smash that share button. Favorite sniffle. Sinful's not gonna lie, mine are pistachios. There's nothing wrong with pistachios. Um, I don't know the bad stuff. Soda. I love Dr Pepper. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with pistachios unless you eat like the entire bag. <laughs> yeah. I love Dr. Pepper and it's like the worst thing, like thousand calories, just drinking it. When you eat the whole bag, <laughs> that's funny. You commented that I'm addicted to diet Coke. Thank you for Reggie. Thanks for sharing. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Almonds are great too. Yep. <laughs> the pistachios are too much work. Like it makes it so I can't eat that many. I'm just like, I'm over trying to open these. <laughs> Amelia, Amelia's had the vodka and that's why she wants to go live with me now. Now I got it. Got that liquid courage in ya. That's hilarious. They have shellless. Yeah, then it's more expensive. I'm such a cheapo. Pre open ones, deadly. <laughs> it's like sunflower seeds, though. Like when I would get sunflower seeds that are already cracked, they weren't that good. I liked working for them. Tips for 400 plus with insulin resistant in the 40s where to start? So start with finding out what your calorie goal is and just start eating meat and veggies. Just eat meat and veggies and you will start to plummet on that scale. Meat and veggies. Take it before and after pictures. Throw the scale out the window. Meat and veggies. Don't even ask me, can I have this? Meat and veggies. That's it. Hit your calories. You're going to get amazing results. They're not the same at all. No, not at all. These re already shelled ones, definitely not the same. Sunflower seeds are my guilt snack. There's nothing wrong with sunflower seeds. They're fine. What time is it? Niner. How'd you figure out calories? Use um, the calorie calculator. I have a calorie calculator on my website. I love that one. I like the formula. That's why I put it on my site. So just go to fullertonnutrition.com, hit menu, and you'll find the calorie calculator. I went today, bought burger, patties, turkey burger, patties, and chicken, and veggies all week. Nice. Just be careful with the turkey because it's so lean. It's going to be hard to hit your calories with turkey. It's the only thing I'll say about the turkey. Thanks to your inspiring self. Allison, you're awesome. I appreciate it. You got to do it though. I can't make you. Love it.
<laughs> Cream cheese and the mini bell peppers have been my jam lately. I don't I don't think I like cream cheese. I don't think I do. So yeah, I also do a um Fullerton Fullerton Weekly. What do I Fullerton I don't know, but I post an entire vlog of what I'm eating throughout the day, my workouts and everything like that. So that's just on the YouTube as well. Do you buy the fresh vegetables or frozen? I do the frozen, honestly. The only thing I'll buy fresh is asparagus and I'll throw those in the oven. Worried about carbs or exercise? What do you mean, Amanda? What do you mean, what do you mean, what do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? If you guys are asking questions, sometimes TikTok doesn't even post them. I don't know why. So don't yell at me if you're like, why is he not answering my questions? Do I need to focus on carb intake and start exercising? 100%. Start hitting your calorie goal with meat and veggies and start working out. Definitely. So like if you use the calorie calculator that's on the site, it's going to ask you how active you are. So if you're going to start working out, definitely put like lightly active. It just depends on how many days a week you're working out though too. So um, just be mindful of that. But yeah, definitely start moving, start eating those meat and veggies and you'll be golden. Make sure to take before and after pictures though. Throw the scale out the window. Don't worry about the scale at all. Don't worry about it. Doesn't matter. We're all doing this to look good naked anyways. And if you're telling yourself you're not doing this to look good naked, ask yourself, when do you most of the time want to start losing weight? It's right before summertime. Amelia, that's hilarious. <laughs> Yay, thank you. Yeah, absolutely. You got it. Thanks for asking that question. I use your site for calories. Nice. I'm telling you, it's the name of the game. I have so many people who have been doing low, low calories and they jack their calories up because of the calorie calculator and they start getting results because they're feeding their body, they're nourishing their body, they're hitting their calories the thing like you can't just do a thousand calories and do all this cardio and expect to get great results because it's just not gonna happen destroy that the hormones destroy the metabolism there's just so many different things that can happen with under eating and everything like that so that's why i talk about calories so much and why they matter and 90 percent of the time people aren't getting results because they're not taking in enough calories so that's why i hate the word calorie deficit and everyone's throwing it around like what's the best food to eat healthy doesn't matter. It'd be calorie deficit. Like, no, it doesn't work that way. I want to do your five day a week workout. What cardio should I do with it? I hate running though. At the end of my, at the end of every single gym workout, I have intervals and ab workouts in every single one. So, um, definitely check it out. The end of the workouts, you'll have the, you'll have the, uh, you'll have the cardio side of it with intervals and everything like that. Is Zevia soda? Yeah, that'll be just fine. I want to try your five day. That's so, that's funny. You commented here and then here. Yeah, Kaylin, definitely. It'll have the workouts at the end of them. It'll have the cardio side at the end of them. Just saw your comment on YouTube. Glad you found the YouTube. So when you guys use the calorie calculator, don't be shocked on the amount of calories it gives you. Like some people are checking out their calories right now. Don't be shocked. 1,200 calories is not your calorie goal. I'm telling you it's not. 
So don't think 1,200 calories is what you should be doing to get the results that you want. So I'm telling you, it's just not going to work. Time for a refill. <laughs> it's funny. I just started working out today, and your video showed up on my FYP. It's crazy how it works, right? Where in Arizona are you from, Gilbert? Are you in AZ too? No? Oh, yeah. Good old hot Arizona. Twenty five hundred to lose. All the possibilities for ribeyes. I'm telling you, you were stationed at Luke Air Force Base. How long ago? Because I know some people in the Air Force at Luke. Never been to Gilbert though. Arizona's cool. I mean, it's not cool. People don't move here. Some people are moving here. It's craziness. I usually want to lose weight right after summer so I can eat more during the holidays. Nicole, that's hilarious. That's funny. Possibilities are endless. <laughs> oh, it's awesome. Let's just go here, then here. They're trying to leave California. Yeah, I know. 90s. Had weight loss surgery with doctor saying 1,200 calories, no more. What the? Starving yourself does definitely work. But the thing is, if you had like, um, if you had the sleeve or whatnot, you're just not able to take in a ton of calories. So I had a client that was like that, but we spread out her meals throughout the day so she could snack little meals throughout the day, and she was able to bring her calories up and hit her calorie goal. I don't mind the heat. It's just better than the Midwest humidity. Trust me, I get it. I went to school in Nebraska. I get it. I went to the Outer Banks at the beginning of July. That humidity is the worst. I'll take this 120 dry heat any day of the week. For a long time, I've only been eating a chicken at meat source. Is that sufficient? Yeah, chicken's fine. Chicken's great. It's just if you get sick of it, I would get it. But yeah, there's nothing wrong with chicken. I cook and bake a ton. It's hard not to sample as I go. Trust me, I get it, Nicole. But if you eat bad 20 days out of the year, you're going to be fine. If I start keto today, when should I expect to see some weight loss? Don't worry about the weight loss. Go off your before and after pictures. But if you're hitting your calories, you're going to see like you're going to see water weight the first week, 100%. Like three or four pounds of just water weight. But stop worrying about the scale. Go off those before and after pictures. Yeah, tuna's great too. Loaded in protein. Nothing wrong with tuna. There's no fish. What do you mean what? Don't worry about the scale. The first week you'll probably lose about three to five pounds of just water weight. If I work out five days a week, lift weights, who do I choose for how active I am on your calories? Yeah, I would go very active. Actually, I would go active. 
Shay, I would go active. My brother plays baseball now. Baseball and wants to gain weight, so he has a scale. Glad he took it to college. <laughs> nice. I also have a desk job. I would do active. How much, if you were like busy, like a nurse or a teacher, like up on your feet all day and worked out five days a week, I would do very active. I would go active. How much water is sufficient? Got to drink lots to do to running three days a week for military. I honestly don't measure my water. I honestly don't. I get that question a lot though. Esther, I thought you were going to sleep. I get that question a lot though. Definitely do. Um, I honestly don't track my water. I just drink when I'm thirsty. I drink throughout the day. So honestly, I drink like four or five of these throughout the day sitting in the office. Um, but um, definitely, I, I couldn't tell you. I honestly don't measure that one. So don't be concerned with the weight loss, but inches loss. Yes, exactly. Go off those before and after pictures. I'm telling you, you got to go off those before and after pictures. It's super weird. I somehow blocked somebody. I don't know how that happened. How much water is sufficient? Thank you. Absolutely. Absolutely. I can't sleep. That's the thing, guys. Don't worry about the scale. Go off those before and after pictures. It's the name of the game. Because women can fluctuate 10 pounds during your monthly cycle. So don't stress out about that scale. Thank you. Absolutely, absolutely. I wonder how obnoxious people are getting. You got it. You got it. Don't forget, guys, I do these live Q&As every night, 7 o'clock, 7.30 Arizona time, just breaking down this weight loss thing as simple as possible, answering all your guys' questions. How about a creatine supplement since some pre-workouts have it in them? So, yeah, the one that I take already has it in it. So it's NutraBio Pre. NutraBio Pre, that's the one that I drink, and, yeah, it does already have the creatine in it and everything like that. Recommendations for a protein powder that's not a meal replacement, more like a post-workout shake. I honestly wouldn't recommend anything other than this. One scoop's going to be 25 grams of protein. It's an isolate way. There's no sugar, less than a gram of carbs in there. Um, I literally wouldn't recommend anything. But if I had to, Dimatize ISO 100 or Optimum Nutrition ISO 100. Look, not ISO 100. I, Optimum Nutrition has the way. Look, when you're looking to see what type of protein, if it's good or not, go down to other ingredients. If the first word is concentrated whey, don't get it. If it's an isolate or hydrolyzed way, definitely get it. So definitely, definitely, definitely. Um, let's see here. So me and my daughter working out to get fit. How many calories should we burn a day? Don't stress that about your calorie burn because you can't really calculate how many calories you burn. Cause it's all with breathing. Like when they, when you see like the old Gatorade commercials, when they hook them up to the sheen, that's like the way, like there's just all this stuff. Like I wouldn't worry about your calorie burn, honestly, cause it's not accurately on point and it's delicious. Me too. Um, it kicked me off. No Instagram only lets me go live for an hour. Um, so me and my daughter work out. So yeah, don't stress out about your calorie burn, stress out about how many calories you're taking in. And if you're hitting the right amount of calories, so make sure you're not under eating because if you're under eating and working out, you're not going to get the results that you want. I promise. Any thoughts on my zone belt? What is that? Becca, what is, I'm going to look this up. My zone belt. I'm going to guess it's a waist trainer. is this oh it's a calorie calculator heart rate monitor looks like i personally don't like them it's a lot of gyms upsells keto xp safe what is keto xp if the word keto is on any supplement don't get it it's pointless i'm guessing it's like a fat burner or something like that yeah i just looked it up Thoughts on waist trainers? Yeah, I think they're an absolute joke. Absolute joke. 
Have an amazing night, Amelia. Let me know when a good time will be for you to do Motivational Monday. Just needs about an hour. Good to know. Yeah, I think they're the most ridiculous things ever. Might as well just wear a corset, honestly. And they look better, too. What is the deal with boxers in taking hot showers and then wrapping themselves up in towels after? I have no idea. Not sure. Fat burner. Yep. Uh, it's, it's, I'm not even going to say it's safe. It's just pointless, honestly. You don't need to take a fat burner and the word keto's on it, so it really isn't going to do anything. Um, like I always say, like the stuff, like when you're at the stores and you see the word keto on it, don't get it. It's just a marketing way of getting you to buy it. Fat burners are pointless. Just hit your calories with meat and veggies. It's not going to speed up your weight loss by taking a fat burner, a cleanse, a coffee, a tea, ridiculous ketones. Those are the biggest joke of all the ketones. Absolutely drive me crazy with all these people who sell them. They're like, this is how I got my results. No, it's not. I have them. I've tested them on myself. They do nothing to make you lose weight. Um, but yeah, with uh, fat burners, they're, they're pointless, honestly. Um, wherever you got them, if it was within 30 days, you can take them back, I'm sure. Uh, what is the deal? Not sure. It's like a weight loss thing. So they make their – that's water weight they're losing, Becca. Um, I did – I wrestled. I wrestled so I could lose 10 pounds of water in a uh, wrestling practice. You ram wrap yourself. You'll lose the water weight. That's all it is is water weight. So if all you care about is the scale, then sure, so wrap yourself in that saran wrap and you'll lose the water weight, but you're not losing the fat. The body image is not going to change. <laughs> we just had more Mountain Dew Zero and vodka. Nicole, you literally are going to have to do a Motivational Monday. You've been here since I started basically on TikTok. It's like a weight loss thing that got it. What's up with all the ice baths I'm seeing people do on social media? Ice baths are just great recovery for the body. That's it. That's all it is. Gotcha. Thanks. Absolutely, Becca. Absolutely, absolutely. How long have you been training clients? For over seven, eight, nine, about nine years now. Love all your information. So helpful. Appreciate it. Preach. That's why I do this, guys. That's why all I ever ask is smash that share button. If you ever see one, anything of mine, if you're watching the live, just hit that share button because you don't know who in your friends group could stumble upon one of these or one of the videos, and it just starts clicking for them, and they start changing the way they're eating, and they start getting awesome results. Mom life, appreciate it. Um, but yeah, that's why I do this, guys, just to make this as simple as possible because it really is easy and there is so much misinformation out there. Like what I talk about is what I do, what I've had my clients doing. It's not the garbage that I learned at school that was all made up in the 50s, 60s, and 70s that the food pyramid is the way to eat, which it's not. Um so yeah, that's why I do this. Cause there's no better feeling when someone reaches out, and tells me they're down 40 pounds after watching all my stuff and just making it so simple for them on how to lose weight, how to get that fat off the body and everything like that. So that's why I do this. So don't ever be afraid, guys. If you guys have gotten awesome results, whenever you guys do start to change the way you're eating, please let me know. If that's what drives me. Literally, it drives me to keep putting this stuff out there. I've, so I've been on this live since 7.30 Arizona time. Um, just answering these questions because I know it can benefit just one person to get those results. There's not a better feeling than that. Have you heard of the saffron supplement? It's hard. It's an herb that supports to help control cravings. Um, saffron. I don't think I have. What will definitely help with the cravings is taking in more fats. So for the sugar cravings, you take in more fat, you're not going to be having those sugar cravings anymore. It's definitely an easy way to get rid of them. 
Esther, how much are you down now, though? Yeah, I don't think I've heard of the saffron. Let me look it up. Maybe I have. I have no idea. What's up with the lemon and lime shot? It's just great gut health. There's so many benefits of lemon, and there's so many benefits of limes, and you mix apple cider vinegar in with that too. I'm telling you, the gut health is so important when it comes just to healthy living. Um, there's just so many benefits. There's so many vitamins and minerals and then electrolytes. And then you got the vitamin C. So yeah, you got the sickness on top of it. Like I love doing the lemon and lime shot. The gut health is on point with, and I'm talking like five times solid a day. Um, but yeah, that's why I do the lemon and lime shot. Definitely love it, love it, love it. 36 pounds. Let's go, Esther. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, what scale did you throw out then, Esther, if you know how much you've lost? Good call, Nicole. Good call on that. Nine, nine months in, down 38 pounds. Thanks for helping me understand it all. That's awesome. Congrats. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Esther, teach me your ways. I use my parents. <laughs> That's awesome. 38 pounds. Love it, love it, love it. Did you take before and after pictures? Who said that? Case sticker over here on uh, TikTok. Sticker Crow. As for a lot of people want you to do Motivational Monday because they think you're so funny. I don't know what they see, but they want you on Motivational Monday. I heard my name in here. It's a comment right above yours, Esther. <laughs> Yes, it's so crazy. It's so simple, right? You guys, if you guys want to be on Motivational Monday, you don't need to lose 100 pounds to be on it. I just want people on there who've got amazing results. Like if your before and afters are great, let's do this. Um, seriously, if you know somebody who's got amazing results with weight loss, let me know. Send them my way. I want them to be able to share their story so other people can see how easy it truly is on how to lose weight and how to get that fat off the body. That's the whole point in the Fullerton Motivational Show. So if you don't know what that is, uh, it's on Facebook. I mean, it's not on Facebook. It's on YouTube and on your favorite podcast podcast networks. Just look up Fullerton Nutrition. They're all there. There's four new episodes. This week's Fullerton Motivational Monday, um, this guy reversed type 2 diabetes with just nutrition. So it's a good one. It's real motivating. People's stories are awesome. Has anyone seen your work? My workout video isn't going to make you get results. No workout's going to make you get results. If your nutrition's not on point, you're not going to get results. Uh, funny enough, it, I'm shy. What do you mean, Esther? You jumped on the live. <laughs> Actually seen results. That's awesome. You forced me. <laughs> I know I didn't. Don't even say that. Nicole said you're absolutely hilarious. So I tell all my clients too, I'm like, look, you're not going to get results just by working out. I literally can't be at your house with you 24 seven to make sure you're eating right. Find any info on the saffron. Like I said, you're not going to be able to just eat something and you just lose weight. Like, there's just no quick fixes out there. I'm not funny. I'm just myself. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. I looked up saffron and came up with saffron rice.
Can you see my comment? Becca, I don't think I can. Let me see in the last comment you said that I saw. I don't think I don't I didn't see your comment, Becca. Allison, yep, those meats are perfect. I just don't like turkey because it's super lean. It's really hard to hit your calories with turkey. I need two phones to be on both apps. <laughs> no worries. It was, what do you eat to get in fats? Got it. So the fats, that I'm, most of my fats are getting in from the, from the meats. So like chicken thighs, loaded in fat, ribeye steaks, loaded in fat, uh, ground beef, ground sausage and stuff like that. That's how I get the fats in. But if you're doing like a meal, like a chicken breast and a veggie, get a salad dressing, drizzle the salad dressing over your veggies. That'll definitely drive up your fats. Truly appreciate all of it. Like I said, just talking about what I do, what I have all my clients doing to get that weight off as simple as possible. The thing with avocados, it's 12 grams of carbs per avocado. And people eat like three a day. I'm like, that's 36 grams of carbs just in avocados. Um, luckily, I don't like avocados. So there's that. <laughs> sure. Oh, my gosh. That was hilarious. What's up? What's up? Yeah, if you talk about ketchup, we're not doing that live. No. Wait, so you are telling me you don't like guac? Like, why, bro? No, don't. I honestly don't like Mexican food. I live in Arizona. Wait, so... Have a great rest of the live. Have to put my kids to sleep. See you later. Have an awesome night. Appreciate you jumping on asking those questions. What else you guys got? What other questions you guys have? So like I said, I've been live for about so 7.30. So I've been live for our two hours now, just a little over two. But I do this every night, 7.30, 7 o'clock Arizona time. Where in Arizona are you, Gilbert? What I found you in, always looking for your lives, always. Now that I found you, I'll always be looking for your lives. So yeah, I go live 7.30, 7 o'clock Arizona time. You guys can turn on notifications on TikTok. So when I do go live, you get notified so you will never miss a live. Uh, I've been shadow banned for the past five weeks. So it's been pretty dead lately. But today finally broke the seal and started going going up again. So that's good. So that's the thing. Like as long as there's questions, I'll be on here forever asking, que answering questions and everything like that. So that's the thing. As long as you guys got questions, I'll keep on answering them. It's the whole goal. Just make this way. Let's think as simple as possible. Like I said, when people message me and say that they've gotten results just from the TikToks or my YouTube or my um, podcast, there's no better feeling than that ever. What do you use to marinate your steaks and chicken? I don't marinate my steaks. I just do Montreal steak seasoning. Uh, same thing with the chicken. Um, I just do the uh, garlic powder salt on it. And then I do sometimes barbecue sauce or teriyaki sauce. That's honestly where my carbs are going to come from. My carbs are coming from the sauces or my veggies. That's it. So if you watch my the Fullerton Nutrition Weekly, so it's a, it's a weekly vlog on YouTube, just look at Fullerton Nutrition. You'll see Fullerton Nutrition Weekly. It's a full week of me eating what I'm eating, what my calories are, my workouts, and stuff like that, just showing you guys exactly what I do. But when you do that, go watch Fullerton Motivational Monday. That's some inspiring stuff right there. Um, people losing so much weight just by changing their nutrition. This week's Motivational Monday he reversed type 2 diabetes just with nutrition. So 
definitely go and watch you guys. Remember, all my workout programs are free. They are on the site. Go and check it out. If you guys need a custom keto plan, you can get that on the site as well. If you want a free 21 keto recipes with a grocery list, that is on the website as well. If I were to eat meat and veggies every meal, is it okay if I don't measure everything? Measure the meats at least because you could still be overeating or undereating. I'm a carb lover, always been. Any tips to cu- curb that habit? Okay, definitely have your why. Figure out why you want to lose weight, why you want to get healthy and everything. Uh, start to do complex carbs. Um, hit your calories, bring up those fats, and it will suppress the carb cravings. So like right now I'm sitting at four grams of carbs today. Four. And I've eaten four times. Do you measure meats before or after cooking? I do it before. Montreal steak spice. What a Canadian you are. Is it from Canada? <laughs> Glad I don't put you to sleep, Esther. So like I said, guys, everything is on the site as well. The free calorie calculator. All my workout programs are on the site. Just FullertonNutrition.com. Do not forget to tune in tomorrow where I will be going live answering all your questions i'm out of here guys appreciate you a ton that's crazy that's right not know that see you guys i just skipped out on a question i feel so bad now see you, Esther. go to bed